Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the title Trip Point Bitline Pre Recharge Sensing Scheme for Single Ended SRAM. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of this title. Static random access memories continue to be critical component across a wide range of microelectronics applications from customer wireless to high performance server processes, multimedia and system on chip applications. An SRAM catch consists of an array of memory cells along with peripheral circuits such as address decoders, sense amplifiers and devices etc. Those enable reading from form and write into the array. In this project, the system proposes a trip point bit line pre recharge TBP sensing scheme for high speed single ended static random access memories. This TBP scheme that issues of limited performance power conceptions sensing margins and area found in the previous single ended SRAM sensing schemes by biasing the bit line to a slightly large value that the trip point of the sense amplifier. Each bit of information is stored in one memory cell. They share a common word line in each row and their bit line pairs in each column. SRAM array are limited by its electrical characteristics characteristics such as capacitors and resistors of the bit lines and word lines used to access cell in the array. High sensing performance is achieved in this scheme by biasing the inverter connected with the RBL close to the trip point during the pre-recharge phase. So static random access memories takes up a large portion of the system on chip area. Thus the total power consumption of the system on chip may be based on the design of SRAM. Thus the trip bit line pre recharge sensing scheme is used to limit and avoid the leakage power of the system on chip. Now we are going to discuss about the flow of the SRAM cell designing. So in this flow the first module in the ST SRAM cell the data will be first write and then the data will be stored into the SRAM memory. The stored data will be read depending upon the read word line that is the read word line will be 1 then the stored data will be read in the read bit line. The SRAM the data first write into the memory with the help of the NMOS then the written data is stored into the memory. The data stored into the memory with the help of the cross inversion circuit then the data is stored in two nodes left node and the right node then the second data must be read with the help of the read path which consists of two n masses and with the control line called read word line then follow to this the TBB sensing scheme trip point pre recharge sensing scheme is consisting so in this the TBP sensing scheme reads the stored data very fast and it consists of combination of LBL cell and the sense amplifier the data written in the LBL cell is reads correctly and fast with the help of the sense amplifier circuit the sense amplifier consists of transmission kit then the data in the cell must be selected with the control of the clock signals in the combination of LBL cells the data stored must be selected with the help of the clock and enable line in the sense amplifier circuit and follow to the sense amplifier module is used the sense amplifier consists of the trip point inverter transmission gate and the enable line these are used to read the data correctly stored into the memory. The output of the LBL cell is given input to the trip point inverter. Then the inverter has the enable signal to control the data stored in the memory. Then the transmission gate is used to give the feedback control signal to the trip point inverter. Then the transmission gate consists of PMOS and NMOS. The clock signals directly given to the NMOS and the inverter then give to the PMOS for feedback and then controlling purpose. Then the write data to be stored into the memory is read by sensing the LBL cell. Then the data to be read as the output. Finally, the written data will be read into this memory very efficiently with the low power. Now we are going to design the SRAM using Tanner design and we are going to see the output results of this SRAM. The SRAM is uh, designed in Tanner 13.0 software. So first we have to click to this Tanner uh, design then the design window will be opened. In this window the SRAM 
CMOS circuits will be designed using PMOS and the NMOS. The full whole SRAM design will be designed. Then, uh, using this SRAM, uh, we are storing the efficient uh, data and it is uh, used in low power low power consumption so this is from so user in low power consumption circuitry and we are storing efficient number of bits so uh, now we are going to see the uh, output of this SRAM so for that click to this run window the output waveform will be opened We are going to see the simulation results of this SRAM. This is the data input to be read and write and stored into the SRAM. And this is the control read write signal. This is the LBL input. Then this is the capacitance discharge timing and then the output of this SRAM. The data will be stored into this SRAM is efficiently read and write using this control line. Read and the control line the output will be obtained.